Hey everyone, and uh, welcome back to Mac Music and this part four of the Open Stage Control from Scratch tutorial series. Uh, in this episode, we're going to look at uh, buttons, styling the buttons. This is uh, what we've got so far. Um, so last episode, we talked about the faders here. So today we're going to talk about the buttons. So essentially this is all done in CSS previously. So with the same ethos as this, leaving the primary function of open stage control intact and interfering with it as little as possible, uh, in order to implement these buttons, we need two images, uh, one for off and one for on. And um, if I go into edit mode, uh, it's control E, control G to get rid of the grid. Um, you'll see here that we've got um, the button. Look at the geometry. Uh, we're setting the position, remember? We're setting the position where we're calculating uh, that and setting it as a fixed offset from the top left hand corner. And then we're giving it a class of channel button. So all of the styling for this image is done in our CSS. If we bring up the CSS file, this is um, channel button. And what you'll notice is these variables here, uh, we set them all to none, we get rid of the border, uh, we set the background image, and we set the repeat to no repeat, and we set the background position to center. So as a quick reminder, those two images, uh, underscore LED button 01 and underscore LED D button 03 are stored in the um, resources app assets custom folder underneath the uh, open stage control installation folder and uh, they are sort of two button images that are with that we use for for on and off uh, if I bring this back and uh, just make this a lot bigger what you'll notice is here um, that the image is centered within the button control. The reason why I'm calling this out is one of my uh, subscribers, DMD Composer, uh, was asking around uh, here, around, um, I'd like to see if your same principles of the center of the resize an icon or picture in the middle of the button, calculate the position by size. So yeah, so in answer to that question, you don't need to calculate, uh, CSS will do it for you. And in order to do that, what you need to do is basically set the background position to be center. And uh, you just need to set then the background image to be a URL to a location uh, that you uh, have of a particular image. And the one that you want for off, uh, the off thing. And then as before, if I just undo, 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 that's going to bring it back. The other thing we want to do is know what the style is for when the button is enabled or on. And the way we do that is we press F12 to bring up the developer console. There we go. And we do Control Shift C. We go onto the button. What you'll notice here, uh, we're editing this uh, this button. because so it's got the editing class and it's also got the on class. If I just click this again. Uh, the on class has uh, disappeared. Still editing it, but the on class has disappeared. So what we need to do, if we go back to the CSS. The way we do that is so we do uh, dot channel button dot on. That means if it has got both the channel button and the on class, then we just change the background image URL. Uh, everything else stays the same. These will all be inherited. These different settings here, alpha fill. We turn all of those off. Um, in order to know what those are, if you go back to the editor and then if you click um, in the CSS, if you click the question mark, uh, so if you click on the CSS, it will bring up here and these are the available variables. These are the ones that you want to set uh, to null in or to none in order to get rid of all of the default styling and then just provide the image that you want. So essentially it just makes it an empty box which you can fill with an image. Uh, so there you have it. That's pretty much it. Buttons, um, the styling of the buttons handled. I know this is going to be a short video, but I'm going to leave it there for now. 
I've noticed that that average watch time for these videos is around four or five minutes. So if I make it any longer than uh, four or five minutes, people aren't watching them, uh, or certainly not all the way through. Uh, so uh, I'm going to leave it there, and in part five, I'm going to cover the knob controls. So this might be a slightly longer video because it's a bit more complicated, uh, but I will cover that then. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, uh, give it a thumbs down and please put a comment down below and let me know how I can improve the content. And if you want to be notified when new content like this lands, then please do click that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified as soon as the next installment of this tutorial series lands or any other related content that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.